his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, and the Pearl Pirates. You remember last time, Clutch had a narrow escape with the Pui Pui fish, which he suspected might be a mechanical fish. Feeling that Captain Juan might be the one responsible for oyster stealing, he boarded the ship to look around when suddenly... Phew, that was quite a drop. What a spot to be in, 20 feet below deck, surrounded by walls and no door. <laughs> Too bad, Clutch Cargo. But you are with the oysters. That is what you came to find. You will stay there forever. And you'll be getting the last of Mayor Molokai's black pearl oysters. It is unfortunate that you cannot say goodbye to your friends before we scare them from the island with our man-made Pui Pui monster feet. Oh, I knew that wasn't a real fish. Adios, Senor Cargo. Talk to the little oysters. Maybe they will help you get out. <laughs> Clutch seems hopelessly trapped. No possible way to get out. Then suddenly... I've got it. Oysters have to have fresh seawater, and this water is fresh. There's no door, and I can't climb on, but I can float out. Where's that sea valve that lets the water in? There it is. Full force. Made it. Clutch swims from the other side of the boat to Volcano Point and races to the beach. Mayor, you and Joe bring me ten electric eels. Wire them together. We need plenty of electric power. Spinner, help me with this rubber suit so I won't get shocked by those eels. Gee, Clutch, you look like a man from Mars. Best protection you can have in the water. We wired the ten biggest eels together. Just pull the tank in the water. Here goes. Wish me luck. Clutch swims, holding the electric eels by the wire. Suddenly in front of him, he sees the monster Pui Pui fish, its jaws open wide, scooping oysters from the sand. as a flash, Clutch pushes the electric eels into the mouth of the monster fish. Look, here comes Clutch. It won't be long now. Stand back. You'll see what your pooey pooey fish really is. Hey, a two men suddenly made you look like a fish. And here are the men responsible for the pooey pooey scare. Just two Polynesian pearl pirates. He's got enough oysters to open to keep them out of mischief for a long time. We can never thank you enough, Clutch and Spinner. You have saved us all from a terrible fate. And proved that superstitions are only imaginary. And added to our trophy collection. And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the Pearl Pirates. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot.